Hey guys, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 111. So today we're going to be doing a, a breakdown of how I made this uh, kind of movie poster image all in Blender, no Photoshop, nothing. I didn't even retouch this and I also ended up making this uh, run sequence through uh, this kind of uh, ghetto-like uh, futuristic city. Yes, so what I did is start with a volumetric environment uh, because it helps you kind of visualize what you're doing easily as it creates a silhouette of uh, the environment. It makes it easy to create a silhouette of the environment which uh, gives you a good idea of how the final thing will look without doing a lot of work. And I also created these cubes uh, to block out uh, the corridor or the city and I also used the, the random transformation tool. You just hit F3 and search for random uh, to kind of randomize uh, the scale of these cubes just to get an idea of how uh, the city will look without doing too much work. You can see with the volumetric environment it, it makes the city look almost finished without doing a lot of work. And I also added in this kind of water reflections. Uh, that's just uh, a noise texture fed into the bump map and uh, into the principal shader uh, so that you can get those, that ripple, uh, ripple water reflections. <laughs> I also wanted to have some really bright areas in the middle, uh, really bright reflections in the middle. So I added an area light and then added a background emissive mesh uh, just to have that bright spot into the... because I didn't want to model the entire city to the end but uh, with a combination of the volumetric environment and then that bright background it makes it seem like uh, the city continues way beyond what the camera is able to see and I also added in some some simple texturing the cubes were just a simple way to block out the city and now I'm just creating these small details I'm just extruding a few things and I'm going to use them as instance uh, particles to kind of add detail at my city this is more of uh, an advanced tutorial as you can see I'm not explaining step by step so I'm using a hair particle system here and using that collection of uh, small blocks uh, that I created I'd kind of fill in the details on those cubes to make them look like larger building blocks uh, so here I'm just adding in a few extra details I wanted to achieve good results without with the most minimum effort I can add in uh, so this whole setup was done in about two hours that's what I usually limit myself into. every day I dedicate about two to three hours a day uh, on blender so I always make sure that anything I'm working on doesn't exceed that limit so uh, because of that I'm trying to do the least I could do to achieve uh, the best results and uh, the volumetric environment helps a lot uh, in uh, masking the low detail work I have here and make it seem like a lot of work. Taking advantage of the hair particle system, I'm distributing these small blocks onto these extrusions of cubes uh, to make them seem like detailed buildings as you can see. And I also added in some spots of uh, emissive lights as you can see, it make them look like lights on those buildings. It's very, very basic work, minimum effort uh, to get to attain uh, the maximum detail. So this is just blocking out and setting up my composition right and uh, you can see the reflections also add some details uh, to the scene. It helps tie everything together. I'm switching between EV and Cycles to see what, what is rendering best. I stick with uh, EV because it's faster and uh, since it's achieving the same results like uh, our cycles I'm going with. I also have this model that I created previously in another epic scene and I'm just reusing it here to tie the scene together to have a focus point other than just the building. It helps take away the focus from the low polygon or the low detail buildings I have and uh, make the scene look high detail. So uh, I also wanted to add in these kind of gold rays but I didn't want to use a lot of volumetric uh, rendering. I just added a plane and I uh, used gradient maps, a gradient texture. I kind of created these streaks of light uh, that I'm going to, use to add an emissive light on uh, so that uh, it makes it seem like gold rays. You 
you can, these are very very simple tricks that can make your scene look high detailed when it's actually not since this is a kind of a silhouette backlit a scene it hides a lot of uh, the low details that would make this look like a cheap scene instead of a high detail scene like it seems here so i'm using a lot of contrast to convey the details in the scene and uh, because i'm not lighting the textures directly it's very hard to see that i didn't spend a lot of time on those areas these are very very simple techniques i'd help you uh, do that For the volumetric light, I'm not using the density. The, the density you can see is set to zero. I'm just using the emission strength uh, to, to make the volume uh, stand out. And I'm just adding some simple text here. You can download the fonts from, I think it's called 100fonts.com. I've just skipped ahead uh, to the part where I imported a Mixamo character into him, into the scene uh, with a running sequence. And uh, again, this is a, a more of an advanced uh, tutorial, just showing you the workflow uh, to see how it's done. But uh, if you want to see the entire sequence from start to finish, a time lapse of the entire sequence, you can go over to my second channel, uh, Blender Templates, and uh, watch that there. You can also find uh, the finished project file so that you can examine that on my Patreon page. Uh, patreon.com slash top channel 101 uh, anyway that's it um i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching